Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and I'm joined by my buddy Banjo here. And uh, of course that means we are in for another episode of a Kiwi's Tinker Crate. Uh, you want to grab the box there, Banjo? Yep. Now obviously we got a uh, another box in, same size as uh, the majority of the other boxes, so pretty standard that way. And if you can read it at the be at the uh, front here, it does say wooden automaton. Uh, so uh, I don't know if you guys know what those are. I'm not going to give it away if you don't. If you do know what those are, you have an idea on what we've got in store. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and get this opened up and uh, see what's inside and then we'll get to building. All right, everybody. Well, here we go. We've got quite a few pieces this time. There's actually a lot of wood pieces in this one. Um, more than I've ever seen in any one of the Tinker Crates before. So uh, I think we're going to be building this, and it's probably going to take us a little while to do it. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and get started. We'll start with the uh, Tinker Zine here. Of course, uh, the Tinker Zine has uh, just different ideas and everything that is uh, related to this automaton and auto automations, automatons. Um, and uh, so you have some different information here. It gives you some ideas on what a lot of that stuff is, how it works, and uh, things like that. Now, uh, when you, ooh, this one actually has a fold-out section, so you've got some extra pieces there that looks like you can cut them out. And uh, it does have, uh, of course, some additional uh, information. There's the uh, Tinker Library information it shows there. And then usually some of this stuff at the end is... Uh, some additional projects that you can kind of do uh, that correlate to uh, what this uh, build is going to be. Um, now, like we said, there's a lot of wood here. First thing we've got is a stack of wood, and it looks like uh, uh, just pieces that each one is kind of slowly decreasing in size. And they do have a little bit of an angle on here, so they all seem to kind of match, as you can see that way. Uh, then uh, we've got this other bag right here and this other one has some uh, they look like basically large wooden marbles uh, as well as some other pieces that have uh, round circles that have some squares cut in them and um, you've got a handful of uh, other little pieces uh, armatures and things like that uh, we've got a, uh, a straw here it looks like a pretty pretty thick heavy-duty straw not sure quite what that's for um, and let's see, what do we got here? Looks like we've got some, what are those? Oh, the zip ties? Stickers um, and then foam pads. Okay, so some of the stickies probably, like we usually get. So probably the stuff that is uh, used to hold majority of this together. And uh, what do we got down there, Banjo? Super tiny O-rings. I don't know if you can see that, but they're really, really tiny. Okay. And then some wooden dowels that are square. Oh, the square wooden dowels. Okay. A couple different lengths there. And then a bunch of cut out cardboard pieces. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So. so, well, there we go there. And then, of course, what we've got is our blueprint right here. And uh, the blueprint, of course, will show you what, uh, what this design is. As you can uh, see here, there are some pictures, the actual drawing, and then some actual pictures of what the device may look like here once we get it finished uh, pretty pretty intricate actually there's lots of different looks like there's gonna be a lot of different moving parts on this um, and then of course it has like a breakdown of all the pieces that are in the unit and then when you flip it to the other side it has the of course building instructions so uh, Banjo and I are gonna go ahead and get started on this part all right, everybody, so here we go. We got it all built, and it actually didn't take as long as I expected it to. It went together fairly well. Um, there was one little hiccup, and we'll show you that here in a second. But as you can see, Banjo is uh, turning the little crank back and forth and everything, and it creates this kind of stair-step effect that raises the, uh, the little wooden spheres, uh, and they kind of go up the steps, and then they roll back down the little ramp right there pretty neat kind of a neat little toy type thing uh, might be nice for uh, some kind of desk uh, topper thing where you can uh, set it on your desk to the side and then when you need a break or something like that you can wind it up if you're an adult 
um, or of course the the little kids I'm sure will have tons of fun uh, cranking that around and watching the balls spin around and go up and down the steps and uh, you know sliding around into their little uh, their little uh, pattern there so uh, pretty neat now why don't we grab those balls I want to show them the, the one section we had a little bit of problem with now like I said there was a little bit of an issue with this and you have uh, all these pieces now these pieces all just drop in these are all those wooden pieces that we showed you before and then you have these uh, these little uh, circles here um, and they work like cams um, just like uh, in a car in a car engine for those of you who know how something like that works uh, now what you need to make sure you do when you're putting these together is you have a whole lot of those o-rings and we kept on wanting to put just one o-ring in between each the each one of these um, sets but what you have to do is you have to have two o-rings for each one of the cams so when you start it off you start with one at the very beginning and then you put uh, the cam on then you put one on and then you put another o-ring on uh, and then you put a cam on and then you put another o-ring so that it holds it in place so that it's all lined up and uh, there are notches on here but the notches don't necessarily correspond perfectly with the uh, with the width of these uh, slats and everything so you will have to adjust uh, where these are at a little bit so that they will uh, line up with those because you want these uh, cams to be moving in a certain way so that they move your little stair step pieces here uh, and as you can see those uh, move up and down and everything and you can of course see it from the side much better uh, so you know banjo was uh, getting it moving pretty good there and everything but that's that's uh, basically how it goes now we do have these extra pieces and these extra pieces are for uh, an additional project uh, like I said the tinker zine will have uh, something like that in there and um, it does mention it here in the uh, the blueprints and the overall instructions so if you guys want to uh, go ahead and throw that together you have an additional thing to uh, to build and design yourself and uh, like I said in the back of the tinker zine there there were some pieces that looked like you could cut them out as well so uh, I think that's gonna do it for us today um, banjo seemed to really like this he thought it was pretty cool he said he's seen it where did you see it um. There's like maker fairs and stuff around the U.S. and they have these Lego machines that use um, motors okay. and stuff. And it pretty much it's pretty much the same thing, where the motor drives this instead of and doing instead it by of, a hand yeah. crank. Okay, then, so they just have it motorized, but it's the same kind of similar build yeah. kind of thing. And then there's like conveyor belts and all that stuff. Oh, okay, so they've got different variations basically of what it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so there you go. There's some information. Uh, you guys, of course, could look something like that up. Uh, and, of course, talking about looking that up, if you guys want to look this up, you can go down there in the description below, and uh, we will have that link to the, uh, the Tinker Crate and uh, Kiwi Crate lines there. Uh, those will be there. Of course, there's also going to be our social media down there. And, uh, you know, while you're down there, uh, don't forget to leave a comment. Uh, you know, what would you think of something like this? Do you think stuff like this, all these different uh, uh, Tinker Zine and, and the uh, Tinker Crates and, the key, and even any of the other Kiwi Crates, if you've done any of those, uh, what do you think? Uh, I think these have been great for Banjo. He seems to really like them. Um, they're really into uh, different things that, uh, that he likes to build and create and design and everything. And uh, I think they would be great for lots of other kids. Of course, these are STEM-based products um, or projects. So, you know, they, they do kind of uh, lend to the creativity um, of, of the kids that are trying to do them. And, of course, they do start with very young age ones and go up to some of the older ones like this. Um, but uh, anyhow, you know, I, I, I think this is pretty good. Um, I will ask that you guys uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Of course, we're going to have that little icon floating around over there, or you can hit the subscribe button down below, and don't forget to click that little bell and uh, set that up for uh, notifications on uh, new videos when we've got them coming out. Here on World of Me with the Tinker Zine and the, and the Tinker Crate and a Kiwi's Tinker Crate uh, series, as well as any of the other series that we've got going on here at World of Me. 
Uh, well, my name's Cougar. This is my buddy Banjo. We're going to say goodbye to you for today. So uh, I wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.